back in like... We're back home. We're in America. This is one thing that we know for sure we can review. So set down the camera and let's get this started. So as you guys know, I'm American. Surprise! I'm plenty of Mexican. I, I'm a half Mexican, but I'm from America, right? So we found the best reviewed American food in Thailand. And I feel like this is the one place that I can for sure 100% review and 100% like give my honest opinions because I'm so used to American food. So I'm gonna just dig in, but before that happens, welcome back to another episode of my fortunate life choices. Maybe. Because I'm not really sure, you know, it could be a very fortunate event for me or it could be a very unfortunate event for me. Either way, it's all going to unfold here. So let's do this. I'm your host, Brennan Taylor. And uh, that's, that's Jake. <laughs> the bathroom guy. And then that's Billy. The Aussie dude. <laughs> and that's Omar. Hey. <laughs> so now it's time to read the reviews for this place. The reviews are really good. But is this judging from American people that are coming here? To do you think Americans come to Thailand to try American food? Just us. Just us. So yeah. these might be Thai people that are, you know, like saying that it's 4.5 stars. So we're going to read it and we're going to be the judge. Though it is small and not easy to get there, that is very true. It took yeah. us like an hour to walk here. The people are incredibly friendly and the burgers and craft beers are just awesome. Never seen anything like Fatty's Burgers with cream cheese on top. Heavenly and well worth a visit. Though probably best to go by taxi or just hike from Fortune. Yeah, we hiked. Yeah, we, we hiked. <laughs> Long. Fatty's is a fun place to hang out at. Good food, good drinks, music is great. It feels like you're in a U.S. bar. Yeah, it does. It does really feel U.S.-y in here. Yeah. I'm feeling very U.S.A. vibes, you know? Awesome owner, great ambience, amazing food, and one of the best hot wings you'll ever have. We're gonna definitely get some hot wings in here, and what's crazy is the owner is actually full American, what it looks to me. I mean, it's not definitely not Thai. And then the workers here are Thai, but they speak perfect English. Yeah. So, I definitely feel like... I wanna like hear the story, maybe we should try to We should ask them. him, you know? Yeah. This is a two star, so let's see what they have to say. The place is nice for drinking beers with friends. They have good choices of beers too. Although the food tasted good, we had bloatedness and tummy problem right after we reached home. Until the next full day, we were just uncomfortable. Yikes. Seems like a personal problem. Kind of. I mean, like maybe you're lactose or something. I don't know, man. Maybe, or you know, maybe something's wrong with the food. I don't know. I'm always bloated, so <laughs> don't. <laughs> That's because we eat a little too much. All yeah. the time. I'm not a health expert, but it's probably the oil they use and has been used for many times, or the food preparation itself is unhygienic. So let's. Seems American, though. You know, what we're used to out there in the USA. So, but you know, for the most part, this place does have very good reviews. So. We're gonna just be the judges of it and let's see. Let's see if our American comes out. Yeah, I definitely love the atmosphere so far. It's like, nice. It's really it's cool. quiet, it's cool. It's cool because we are in a foreign country and it feels like home, which means like they did a good job. They did. So we're gonna take a look at this menu. We're gonna see what they got going on here and you know, we're gonna get some uh, some beers going because it's a hot day and Billy just made us do a one hour walk. I'm thinking about you, bro. You walk, eat the burger, stay shredded. Is that your fat? <laughs> Thanks, Billy. I don't wanna say it, but bro, honestly, like, it's because it's, I'm a food blogger now, you know? You know, cut me some slack here. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this menu. Let's see what we're working with. I'll get the chili cheeseburger with some fries, please. Can I grab the um, Addy Milk? And this is Jake's bathroom review! Alright, first off, this is the craziest bathroom I've ever been to. Hold on a second. I don't even know what to say. Let me give you a full walk around in this place first before I do any judging. All right, so this is the wall. Look how it just like goes down. If you're sitting on the toilet, the wall goes up. So weird. This bathroom is honestly really cool though. Like it's slightly disgusting, but it just reminds you of an LA like club bathroom, like something that you see like, I would have a photo shoot in here. It's really weird. Definitely not hygienic, but it's pretty awesome. Probably the coolest bathroom I've seen all trip, so it's back to Come on down, enter the channel, good sir. Hello. Hi. Hello. What is Hi. your name? My name's Matthew. Matthew, nice uh, to meet you. Fatty, aka Fatty. Why do they call you that? You don't look fat. 
Uh, it used to be ironic, but I'm growing into it. Got it. <laughs> so you were an American, I'm assuming, right? I am. What part of America are you from? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And what made you like come to Thailand and open up an American restaurant? My wife, who is over there, she uh, she worked at the Piggly Wiggly grocery store in Wisconsin, and uh, we met. There was a bunch of Thai people there. I lost my job, and I was just like, you know, we kind of we had a thing. So I was like, hey, maybe I should go to Thailand. So you just packed up all your stuff, came out here? Not necessarily. I came out here for a, a bit of a visit, you know, and fell in love with the place. Your normal customers, are they they're like all Thai people or do like uh, Americans come here? Not really tourists. A lot of locals in the neighborhood. A lot of regular people that come here. Tourists don't come here very often. Is there a lot of other American restaurants, bars in Thailand or are you like one of few? Bangkok is huge, you know, it's yeah. a huge city full of millions of people. You know, there's all kinds of different people right. here and all kinds of different scenes and stuff, you know. Sick. So thank you, you know. for sitting down with me and talking. Yeah, cheers, man. What's your name? Brennan. Brennan? Yes. Matthew. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Yeah. yeah. First initial wing test, all right? You know, I'm a big wing guy. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of ranch. Let's get going with is it. That, is that the regular one? Yeah, I'll do one no sauce. That's what I'm doing. No ranch. That's a solid wing. Not a ton of meat on it, but it's the crunchy and the sauce is really good. And like, if you were to like serve me this anywhere, I would just assume it's a normal wing. Like the sauce is pretty, is American. Like Hooters, Buffalo Wild Wings, any of those other places. No free promo, but same thing, same quality. The thing is, is like when you try different Thai foods, you have all these different sauces all these different spices, but I'm getting real American vibes. Yeah, they're doing it right so far. In my head, I was thinking we were gonna come into this and try something that was like American, but like with a twist. With a high twist. And this is American. Just straight up. Yeah, one through 10. As a, a wing enthusiast, I'm gonna give it a good solid seven and a half. I agree. Because if there was a little bit more meat, I would be a little bit happier, but it's still delicious. I wish I could critique this, but would it have buffalo wings in Australia? <laughs> You're like, I don't know, it's good. <laughs> These are the spicy wings, and they're pretty good. Right, let me try the spicy one, let's see how, how much of a kick it's got. And it definitely has a way bigger, empowering kick to it. It's definitely got a zing. But I wonder why it's got a zing. Oh, wow. So I ordered a filet cheesesteak. It has steak, green peppers, mozzarella cheese on a brioche bun with fries and a pickle. It looks amazing. I have a lot of Philly cheesesteaks in my life and they're usually not the best, but I was hoping this one is pretty good. Mine is a burger on rye bread with Swiss cheese and fried onion. Ooh. Kept it simple and basic. Got some barbecue sauce on the side for that extra kick and yeah, french fries. Nice. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm got the brat burger, right? It's got the bratwurst sausage, meat, cheddar cheese and mustard. So me, I got the chili cheeseburger. I've never had something like this. It's basically a cheeseburger with chili cheese on it and it's got this special six chili jalapeno peppers on it. I don't know what that is, but it's a special thing that this restaurant does. Um, as you can see, I got the American flag just to prove that this is an American burger. And we got a little like pickle on the side to cool my mouth after, you know, the spiciness of the chilies inside. And uh, let's check the inside of this. Ooh. So those are the different chilies that we got. And you can see right here, we got actual chili on the burger and then topped with some nice chili cheese yum i'm proud to be an american where at least i know i'm free kind of you know we're, we're free but we got a lot of laws and a lot of you know things isn't that a mexican flag that's italian that's wrong <laughs> all right so now taste test billy's thoughts on this kind of matter you know he's an australian but he's not like full american but he is an american enough to like judge what do you think compared to American food? It's definitely less greasy. Like, American burgers, let's say we go to, I'm not gonna drop names, I'm gonna say sponsor. For an American burger in Thailand, pretty good. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh my god. The meat is so tender. Wow, it's really, I'm drooling. That's some serious drippage. The burger, like Billy said, there's no like processed meat. Like, you know, the processed feel that you usually get when you eat an American burger? Like, compared to like what I'm eating here, 
This burger tastes like it is a homemade burger. Like they literally just grilled it up and you can taste that it is very like homey. You know what I mean? Like you can feel the love in the burgers. I'm gonna have to rate this a solid 4.5 out of 5 stars. This is absolutely delicious. I've never had a perfect burger, so I can't give it 5 out of 5 stars, but pretty damn good. In Australia, we got this um, burger rating page, and you can't rate anything a 5 star. That's what I'm saying. Like, because it's impossible, it's a unicorn. How do you know what a 5 star is? Right. Because how can you have a burger that this is the best burger I've ever like, You right. can't judge that because it's always better. That's why I'm gonna give this place a solid 4.5. Jake's an American too, believe it or not. He's like half Mexican, but he looks more American than any of us in the family, so. I'm gonna let Jake judge this next one. Wow, that bread. Pretty. First initial thoughts, it's a little dry. I don't think I got enough of the cheese in there to make it like juicy, but it's not bad. It does taste very clean, very lean meat. Could be a little bit juicier. I think I'm just used to all that grease in LA. I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it, honestly, a four star. It could be better, but for where we are and how it is, I think it, I think it's good. I want to add something in. Like, okay, so yes, we're in an Americanized restaurant, but the ketchup is awful here. It's very like walkery ketchup. But you know what? Some people don't always love ketchup like me. I'm a ketchup enthusiast. Like, I will wear a ketchup shirt. People ask me if I want a burger with my ketchup. That's how much I love ketchup. And for me to know that ketchup isn't my favorite here, that's saying something. Because as Jake knows, what am I? Ketchup. I am Ketchup. Your middle name is Brennan Ketchup. Literally, if you guys didn't know, I actually have the middle name Ketchup. I'm um, getting it legally changed when I get back to the yeah, States. We have if that you meeting. don't believe me, we're, uh, we're actually gonna do it. 70,000 likes, and I'll change my middle name to Ketchup. Let's do it. Uh, I screwed up. I don't eat pork, and this burger's got pork in it. So, so why don't you eat pork? Because it's a muscle. I want him to explain to the camera, not to me. Why don't you eat pork? I've got food in my mouth, but I got, I'm Muslim, so. In my religion, I don't eat pork. Why is that? Dirty animals. Dirty animals, okay. Essentially, yeah. Right. I don't know what flag that is. Let me know in the comments. Spain. Is it? Spain. Spain. Spain? Viva la Spain. Here we go. Oh, why don't you just take the pork off of it? It's nah. literally just two pork. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, like, it's like, yeah. yeah. Got it. Mmm. This is actually so good. The pork adds to the flavor, like, if this didn't have pork in it, it'd be a dry burger, to be honest. All I really taste is this is the punch of pork. Very good. Yes, it is a dirty animal, but so am I. So I enjoy it. I do think it needs oops, sorry. I do think it needs ketchup because without ketchup it's very dry. It's good, but like I said, it's dry. So if we would have ordered it would probably a plain burger here, I don't know if I would enjoy it compared to American American food. This burger is really good because it has a bunch of different flavor. You know what I mean? We got the chili, we got the we got the cheese, we got all the stuff that adds to this burger. But like Jake said, his thing was pretty dry too. So I feel like they kind of cooked the crap out of the stuff here. I normally would order a burger, you know, medium rare. This is probably what well done. Okay, but you should know like you're in Thailand, so you'd want the meat cooked. That's true because the meat's different out here, right? Because yeah, exactly. there's a lot of diseases and infections that go around. But I want to add like with my one. Like usually, because I was on a rye bread, rye bread is very hard to eat. It usually like doesn't break. Like you'll take a bite and you have to like rip it. And even with Jake's one, I noticed he was able to eat his like sandwich very easily. The bread wasn't like ripping against each other. Which I give them like the bread is awesome, which they say easy, and the pickles are great. Would you come back here to order that sandwich? If I'm nearby. Yeah. Would, would you go out of your way to come here to eat that right now? Well, look, we, as you know, we walked an hour to get here. Well, saying you know. walking isn't a, a matter, you could take a taxi, would you do it? No. Ask me why. Why? Because you're in Thailand. Like, if I, let's say this is in your neighborhood at home. Yes, I would. But as a visitor, it's not like, I'm gonna come. I feel kind of the same way. Like, I think this will probably be the last American meal that I have in Thailand. Um, but it, it, it was definitely a sufficient burger. It's, it's good, and that's all I gotta say about it, you know? Um, Between the three of us, Bill is here. What do you guys think? A thousand. A thousand? Uh, 1400. Okay. Drum roll, please. And the total is 1,537. Okay, Woo! so put the calculator. Yeah, let's, let's get a calculator going so we can see the, the translation between that. All four of us to eat, the total would be $48, which is about $10 or $12 a person. And we had two beers, two sodas, four burgers, two appetizers. That's, that's a lot of food. 
Bruner at 48 bucks. So the thing is, in Thailand, like everything is very cheap because I don't know why. Like, because the cost of living, the cost of living is cheaper out here than it is in America. Like a meal like this in America, 90 bucks probably. 100. Bro, oh, like burger, French fries, drink, and wings. Yeah, because a, a burger itself in LA goes for probably no less. And if you go to like a, a little fast food, no less than probably like 10 bucks. So. I mean, you're getting proper soda. You got beer. Yeah. Just top it off, my beer was from Wisconsin. So, like, they imported the beer here. It's not like we're drinking, like, local Thai beer. We're drinking beer from America. Exactly. So, all in all, I think it, it, it's a good deal. It's a good place to come if you want to try American food in Thailand. So, we did it. We had American food in Thailand. I don't know how many Americans would do that. Why come and have American food when you're from America? I don't know. But we did it. It was pretty good. And you know what? I need you guys to hit the subscribe button right now because we're going on a crazy food tour. We're going to Malaysia, we're going to Vietnam, and we still got a lot more Bangkok street food videos coming. So hit the subscribe button right now. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Join the Taylor family because it's only going up from here. So until next time, Brandon Taylor out. Peace. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.